Did you know that there's a lot of blessings that we can find throughout the whole scripture? But what is so awesome is that those blessings come not just because they're blessings. They come because we experience God and God is a God who wants us to live experiencing him. He is a true being. He is a God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So there's a lot that we experience from God, not just for our own benefit, but because we get to experience a God who is alive, a God who is a personal God, and he wants to know you and I, and we experience his goodness even through uh, simple things of serving others and learning how to serve others through the word of God. And it's wonderful when we look into the Word of God and we're taught the Word of God and discover these things. Do you want to discover those things? I got seven things that we can grow in and be blessed with from the anointing power of the Holy Spirit. And they are from directly from God's Word in Psalm 92. Now, to give you just before we get there, there is an anointing that comes from the Holy Spirit. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27 says that we there is the, the, the anointing breaks the yoke of bondage that means that there's something that has kept you as a slave but yet because of the anointing you are now able to walk in freedom not just as a free child of god but as a prince as a princess of the lord as royalty to take dominion and conquer and live a life that is so powerful and i want to share that with you before we start i do want to recommend you and ask you that it is very important that you be connected to a local church my wife and i just started pastoring in horizon city and we are pastoring there walk on water church in horizon city please look us up and we want to see you every sunday we are there and we're excited because we're about to start a spanish service so please come join us we need help we need musicians and we need people that can also so help us minister to those who speak Spanish. Also, please subscribe as well. Uh, we are on YouTube, Spotify, Rumble, and TikTok. Uh, we are also on Instagram, but don't forget on Instagram, we don't get the full message. You only get a partial of the message. So let's go into Psalm 92, verse 10 through 15. I'm going to be reading to you from the New King James Version, okay? So you have to realize the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we see it in this verse in, in, in the book of Psalms. And I want, you, as we, I want you to think about it as we are looking into this word realize and confess I am anointed and I have the fresh oil of God but I need to be connected to the flow of the fresh oil and that is through the teaching of the word of God prayer and be connected to the house of God let's look at verse 10 but my horn you have exalted like a wild ox I have been anointed with fresh oil say I have been anointed with fresh oil now what does it mean a wild ox anytime you read in the word of god my horn or a horn it means strength that means god has a supernatural strength to give you because of the anointing there is things that other people cannot get done but you will be able to get them done when you are connected to the house of god and get the flow of the holy spirit the anointing of the holy spirit by a man and a woman of god who pray for you watch over your soul and pray for you and instruct you in the word of god so that you can grow in power are you ready to grow in power? Then get connected and seek more of God. Verse 11, your strength. You're going to have a supernatural strength to get things done that you could not get done before. Verse 11, my eyes also have seen my desire on my enemies. My ears I hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. That means... There's a natural power, a favor of God that comes upon your life because now those who have opposed you, those who want to make your life horrible, the Lord prepares a table before their, their eyes so that they can see that no matter what they do, they cannot stop the blessing of God over your life. Is that amazing or what? I mean, that is just so powerful and so awesome that God loves you and that he, no matter which enemy is out there, they cannot stop the blessing of God over your life. Verse 12, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. You know that the cedar is one of the tallest trees in Lebanon. They are the ones that grow the highest. That means God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, not just makes you free, but is going to allow you to grow in such a way and in favor and in prestige in a lot of areas of your life to grow to higher levels. God is God, El Elyon, the Lord Most High, and he's only going to carry you higher and higher and higher. Are you ready for that? Connect yourself 
to the flow of the anointing of the Holy Spirit through the church, through the word, and through prayer, and through fellowship. Because by serving others, God flows the blessings from other people and their anointed over your life. Now, this is so cool. The palm tree that is talking here is one of the most sturdy trees in regards to, you know, like, I don't know if you've seen uh, uh, palm trees that are all bent out, but then they keep growing back up again in uh, uh, the beaches because they have survived hurricane storms. Uh, but yet they're planted, they're rooted, they're solid, they're strong. Nothing can take them away. The, 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 the hurricanes, the storms of life that hit everybody else, economic, uh, health-wise, and everything may come upon the world, but you as a child of God, as a, as a royal priest of the Lord, will be so planted in the Lord that it cannot destroy you or uproot you. You're going to go tall, but your roots are going to go down deep. Hallelujah. Say, I am anointed. Repeat after me. I am anointed. I am anointed and I have fresh oil on my life. Verse 13, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. That means you are going to flourish more in what you do in the ministry as well. You don't have to be a minister per se, but you should be connected to a local church, to everyone together, getting our, our anointing together, flowing together with the gifts of the Holy Spirit to reach other people for the Lord. Verse 14, they shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be, there shall be fresh oil and flourishing. That means that no matter how old you are, God has an anointing for your life. And even if you have gone through things in life and you feel, ah, that dream is dead, believe me. The fact that I'm planting a church at this time of my life was something that I didn't think was for me. I didn't want, but yet God said, no, here's the fresh oil. Go out and do it. Now, everyone has different plans where it's starting a new business, where it's helping in a new ministry at church or thinking, I don't have the time, but like God supernaturally gives you that time. Some of you don't tithe because you're so tight in your finances. That's not what God said. God wants your obedience. God wants you to tithe. God, God wants you to give sacrificial offerings and let the flow of the anointing break that bondage of poverty over your life so that you can live in the supernatural verse 15 to declare that the lord is upright he is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him walk in holiness the blessing of walking in holiness and the blessing to help others see your example and walk in that holiness too so here are the same the uh, the the Basically, the summary of the blessed anointing of God, the blessings that we get from the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Psalm 92. One, we have the power to win and conquer. Two, the vengeance of God on our enemies. Three, the anointing that breaks bondages in our life and the life of others. Uh, four, growth and lasting maturity. Like the palm tree, we're rooted down. But we also have a supernatural growth like the highest tree in Lebanon. Uh, number five, we're renewed and refreshed with the anointing of our calling in life. Number six, we love those in the house of the Lord. And we're connected to the house of the Lord where the anointing continues to flow to our life. And seven, and we have the opportunity to bring that blessing to those in their new walk. As they come to the Lord, we teach them and we flow with our anointing to teach them so that then the Lord will start flowing anointing in them. We thank you for joining us and we want to see you in Walk on Water Church at Horizon City. My wife and I just started a ministry there. We're excited to have you there. We want to meet you in person and we need a team. If you're a musician, if you are someone who has a call to join a brand new church and you have a big going to church this is your opportunity come see us at horizon city walk on water church we got a lot of work to do also subscribe here we are on rumble youtube spotify uh tiktok our uh, instagram uh, instagram doesn't show the whole entire message though so please uh, subscribe there and click on the subscribe follow and the like button on all our messages and leave us a, a message as well if you need an appointment send us an email we want to hear from you uh, or if you need an appointment for just you know venting and someone guiding you according to the word of god or for deliverance we want to help you we can even do it virtually i do want to send a shout out to these people who have subscribed to our program maria z guillami uh Braconier, esita nawani alice valbuena freddy silva and eddie guar Thank you so much for subscribing, and I'll see you guys all together, where together we'll supernaturally continue to walk on water. Be blessed.